On your wings, you're going to be attaching these brackets. There's going to be a brackets on the aft spar and on the leading edge spar. And these brackets are what you're going to attach the lift struts to. When the wing lift struts come to you from the factory, they will be pre-drilled and they will have this fitting already installed. And in fact, what's really nice is that Tom or Nikki at the factory there, they take the time to identify which lift strut is which so you don't have to try and sort things out. It's already fit for you. You don't have to set any lengths or anything. It's already done for you. The holes in the spars are pre-drilled. You may have to <coughs> um, use a reamer to bring them out to size for a bearing fit like I did, but that's all right because I want a nice clean bearing fit on these. You insert the bolts through and in this case here I have the heads of the bolts. This is the aft end or the rear spar and as you can see I'm going to have an aileron coming along here so I've got plenty of clearance and the uh, head of the bolt or the excuse me the nut is on the opposite side. But this is how your lift strut brackets fit in here. I do not have this uh, nut tightened down simply because I don't have the wings on yet. I did that just to hold it in place and to pre-fit these. Now the other end of this which I have tie wrapped off to the spar until I get the wings on the fuselage and start doing trial fitting are the same way. They, they have an angled fitting in here that will come already bolted in and set for you so you don't have to figure out what the angles are, you don't have to figure out any distances, this is all set for you and it should provide for very good rigging and alignment when you get ready to fly your aircraft. This goes into that bracket and then the bolts go through it, the bolts that we talked about in the previous uh, video to hold it to the fuselage. That's your rear lift strut and down here of course is the forward lift strut. Now I haven't finished putting this panel on the bottom yet. I still have to rivet it in place. But there are some support brackets that are going to go in here and we'll videotape that process. I don't have those in yet either. I'm in a process of running the aileron control tube, uh, which is currently tie wrapped to the fuselage or to the wing there, so I can't really move it. But we'll get down here. And when I have the other wings set up, we'll go through the installation of the aileron control push tubes, the bell crank, you have a nylon bearing surface here, and then the tube that will go from here back up to the aileron. Now I have that installed on the other wing, but it's buried in the back back there, so uh, as you can see, and I also have my uh, tail surfaces covered and ready to paint. All that would be done on subsequent videos. But I wanted to point out those lift strut attach points and give you an idea of how these things go on. Thank you.